Hello, this is Maker J101, and I have a little bit of a cyclone or centripetal force problem. Um, so, this is my, um, I guess it's my mixer and uh, fan for my um, natural gas burner for my boiler. So, basically, it's got a fan on here, nice little DC fan. And then in here, this is the burner, little jets for the burner. So, it's just a piece of copper pipe with a couple little holes drilled in it, and it shoots the gas, um, the natural gas, into the middle there before it goes into the burner. So the burner will attach here. Um, so it's just made out of cans and stuff like that. But the problem is that it doesn't actually blow very much air. This fan like this, it blows a ton of air. So here, I'll just show you, demonstrate that. Turn it on here. So as you can see, it makes that piece of cardboard flutter around pretty violently. But the problem is, as soon as I put this on, almost zero air comes out. And it was frustrating me for a while. I was like, why is there no air coming out? And then it real then it dawned on me why that is. So here I'll show you that almost no air comes out of there. So look at that. It almost looks like it creates a vacuum. And it feels like more air is coming out of the back of the fan than out of the front. I mean, it's ridiculous. But I figured out why. So the fan, it spins the air around in there. And so the air is spinning quite rapidly. And so the centrif centripetal force is it's trying to fling out against the sides. So it just can't get to the middle here where it's smaller. Because the air is spinning so fast. So it has to slow down. The velocity of the air spinning around in there has to slow down before it can actually um, exit here, or there's enough pressure for it to exit. So not very much air exits. So I found a little simple solution to that, and that's just to stick a star-shaped piece of plastic in there, and that basically just slows down the stops the rotation of the air after it comes out of the fan. So now when we stick this on here, now we get an enormous amount of air. Look at that much better. That's what I need. I mean, all the way back there, it's making that flutter quite a lot. So that is my solution to it. So now I should be able to get a lot more power out of my burner now that I realized why I couldn't get enough air into the burner. But, yeah, so this is my little regulator I made. And, uh, so let's go try that out and we'll see how it works. Okay, so this is the flame without the, um, baffle in there or what if you call this, the air rotation stoppener, I don't know what you call it, whatever it is. Um, so that's without it, and the fan is off right now actually, so we'll turn the fan on, and as you can see there's really not much of a difference, even when the fan is at full power. I mean, it's certainly not burning very cleanly, so now we'll put it in, and I can show you what it looks like. Alright, so I just put it in, and the fan is off, so now let me turn the fan on a little bit. Starting to take effect there. There we go. That's a nice, clean, hot burn right there. Look at that piece of screen there. Wire, it's kind of getting very hot. And that's only at like 7 point. I ruined the display. I hit a piece of metal on the side of it over here where there's some um, connections, and it ruined it. So I need to get a new one. But it's about 7 point. I think that's a 5. I'm not really sure. But, yeah, so some of the segments are broken, but that's okay. So, uh, yeah, but then we'll turn it up all the way. See, it's starting to blow out there. That's full power, 14 volts. So we can adjust it real nice with my little power supply, and that baffle sure does make a difference. That's too low. Uh-oh, what happened? Oh, wire came unconnected. So now I can adjust my burn real nice, and it's nice and hot. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.